Now we're going to talk about cubes briefly. The cube is here, the box. Corner to corner, height. That means that I make it by choosing first the two corners, then in another viewport I have to choose the height. Now with a box it's pretty simple. What you see is what you get. This is definitely a poly surface. It's actually six separate sides connected together. This means that none of my transform options will work. If I press my control points on, it tells me cannot turn control points on for poly surfaces. There's not a whole lot I can do with this box at this point. It can be rotated with my rotate tool. It can be scaled with my scale tool. I can even do the non-uniform scale to change it in different ways with the three axes. But other than changing the basic shape, my options are pretty limited. Because again, when dealing with surfaces and poly surfaces, connecting a bunch of them together sacrifices your ability to really transform and manipulate the shape. 